United at an extraordinary meeting in Abuja on February 24, ECOWAS heads of state and government took a number of important decisions, including lifting some economic and financial sanctions against Niger. The sanctions will be lifted with immediate effect, ECOWAS Commission President Omar al Toure said after the bloc's meeting, which was aimed at addressing existential threats facing the region and urging the three nations led by military rulers to reverse their decision to leave the bloc. The new measures announced include the lifting of the financial and banking blockade, the end of the energy blockade, the resumption of commercial flights to and from Niger, and the reopening of borders. The summit of the 15-nation regional economic bloc, known as ECOWAS in Nigerian capital Abuja, comes at a crucial time when the future of the 90-year-old bloc is under threat as it grapples with possible disintegration and a recent spate of coups followed by dissatisfaction with the performance of elected governments whose citizens have seen little benefit from mineral wealth. It should be noted that the lifting of sanctions comes after former Nigerian president Yakubu Gowon, a founding member of ECOWAS, called for sanctions to be lifted against countries affected by the coup and for them to remain in the bloc, which has only 15 members following the withdrawal of Mauritania. Economically, the lifting of sanctions on Niger should bring relief to economic operators and the population who remain the most affected, particularly as regards restrictions on the movement of people and goods.